This is called Guide. Drag me along some silly road of fate. Stop by as a bird, as you have, to check on me as a robin, fat, bright-breasted, proud to be in the springtime neighborhood, crapping on my car window and staring at me through the kitchen window, or any songbird that seems to sit for me at the best of angles, at the most needed times, happy to be in the living madness of any type of tree. Or when I needed guidance the most, two birds appeared, a chickadee and a woodpecker on the same branch, the same day, the same time. And I knew those two birds were also made of wood and sat above the stone fireplace at Gramps' cabin on the same shelf, the same time, the same days. Or come as that great blue heron to watch again when I release ashes into a meaningful forest river. Sit again on a branch to watch my hands, guide them shaking steady, Reveal your grace when the river has taken life back. Just the other day, you, a blue heron, flew between two houses over my head, past two chimneys, two seconds, then towards the rising morning sun. Or the great bald eagle deep in lost Virginia mountains, when I saw you perched in majesty, fumbling for my camera, it didn't work. Some things for the eyes only. You took flight eye level out over a cliff, fish scanning up a blue-green river, content, silent master of everything. Or the feathers when I can't quite see you, so their pieces have to do. I collect them as I used to, listen carefully to the lack of calls, cling on to them as guides, especially when no birds sing.